I said I just killed a gopher in my yard and he's buried right over there, right over on the other side of that uh, little uh, tree. And little did I know, it took me months and months to kill that gopher. That damn gopher, don't have sympathy for him because oh, it's a him or, or her. Nowadays it's like non binary. You have to be very careful what you say. And little did I know, I came out today. Ah! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Watch out, COVID. What kind of freaking animal that is? I am not joking. I, oh! I saw this, this pile uh, that's just dirt, right? And you said, what's a big deal? There's something underneath this pile of dirt and it's digging the ground from underneath my staircase. So what happens is, I don't know what go for, what creepy Godzilla is under there. It's trying to kill me. I'm serious. Since that you know that this is like on the uh, hill, hillside, meaning it's on the mountain, and, uh, I rightfully to become a sort of a redneck. So this I know that English is not my first language. Uh, I suffered a lot of discriminations. And I don't use that word lightly because everybody's so woke. I might as well take the wokey opportunity. I don't watch for the sunlight. But, oh! You have to look that up and to get a translator and pay them a dollar 99 cents if they can translate to you ah <laughs> damn freaking over i'm gonna kill it and uh, give me some advice no seriously i believe this is related to the other asshole gopher now you know you say oh why do you want to kill the gopher they're so cute no, they're not cute. They are evil. They got teeth like this. And then they, they actually, that one pushed me away. I have videos to prove it. I was uh, just getting a little bit of sun laying down and the damn gopher came out of the hole because he wanted to grab the grass around my foot. So he pushed my foot away and I went, ah! Um, that was not what motivated me to want to kill the sucker because I know they were hard to kill um, because they didn't want to go through traps and everything but it was because that was the last draw that go see see what happened okay oh uh, I gotta calm down a little bit because I realize that sometimes when I'm just like uh, pumping with uh, energy and anger um, I go a little bit of out there wacko and nobody can understand me so that's okay. If you can't understand me, then just call the interpreter. Uh, this was my favorite, favorite, favorite. It's called a rosemary. And I have a long history with the rosemary. So not to go into all the little details, but that damn gopher tried to kill the rosemary eventually. I mean, not just the weeds. It, it was pulling into the hole. If you know how gopher works, it pulls like the whole plant because they dig from underground and then they grab so it's hit and miss for them so when they come out of different holes uh, a lot of times they probably bump their heads on the tree or uh, i don't know whatever he tried to pull the damn tree if he could so then he pulled the whole plant from the root and this is evil when he cannot pull because they, uh the the gopher took all the plants. What happens is they store it underneath their tunnel. They have like maybe uh, 800,000 feet of tunnel. Seriously, you can look that up. So it looks like a hole and they're very sneaky on the ground. Uh, they cover it, they push dirt after they're done stealing your plants. So they go, oh, never mind. We just, we pretend that nothing, nothing to see here. Or just like the Democrats, nothing to see here. It's only a summer of love. We're gonna loot. We're gonna break into your homes and uh, smash your windows. And uh, we're gonna reach in and grab whatever that's the uh, most expensive, the Louis Vuittons. 
I think all the uh, uh, channels uh, went out of business by now. Uh, they all boarded up, so they, you can't punch through the, the glass and then grab the jewelry from the Beverly Hills Rodale Drive. I don't know why I veer into that, but I'm just saying, this has got to be a PC gopher. They learn it from the gopher. So they take everything that's valuable. It's valuable because it's my livelihood. Yes, my life depends on the rosemaries, the dandelions, and the artichoke. I, uh, really spend my flesh and blood and got my hands so dirty the nails are filled with dirt and everything somebody like asked me one time don't you ever paint your nails no i don't uh i don't like to because really when you when you think about it it's just that you're putting glue to cover up the dirt and nail, then yeah nail polish it's, it's just a nice name <laughs> it's just a bunch of paint you can paint anything but if you put it in a little jar uh, for like uh, 0.5 ounce and put some color pigments uh, and you call it nail polish and you call it all kinds of different names like oh, a diamond girl or something really sexy but they're laughing their way to the bank because they charge you $7.99 a bottle uh, anyhow, so it's just a little paint to cover the dirt uh, in your in your fingernails. Okay, with that said, anyways, I dig into these kind of dirts. Uh, okay, I gotta make it short because uh, supposedly the uh, the ranger, the ranger is gonna come and rescue me. <laughs> They're gonna take that. I just have a picture in my head. They're gonna go arrest that damn gopher. And I bet you anything when they pull that gopher out of this pile, <laughs> it's underneath there. So there's dirt underneath there. That's, if you don't understand what had occurred, um, there's just staircases and the gopher is underneath, underneath, you see what I'm saying? Digging the dirt and push it out so that he can get into the mountains and cross over to invade, invade my yard. Well, there's 100 billion uh, tons of grass over there. Why don't the damn gopher stay on his side? You see, you see, these are uh, like some kind of redneck asshole gophers, and uh, I believe there are sizes of gazellas. If, if no, I'm I'm not joking. Uh, I'm scared because now this gopher is intent to to murder me. I bet he's related to the gopher I've killed. So I set traps uh, and none of them worked. Uh, anyways, it's a long story, but the last one finally, I believe I got the gopher. Never saw the body, but I could not pull the, the gopher hawk. Uh, I got it on another video somewhere. I was trying to pull it. It's a, a uh, gopher hawk. I'll show it just, uh, Sunday. Uh, so, what is that sound? Sunday? No, not Sunday. I'll show you. Show ya. Okay, uh, uh, okay. It means that I will show you how I caught that gopher with the gopher hog. And this is not intended to be a uh, promotional sales pitch for the gopher hog. Anyways, I tried different gopher traps. They're like cincher. Uh, cincher sounds good because it says that it's a cinch. It's like boom, you catch it. Yeah, it caught my friend's thumb like three times. Go boom, <laughs> he sets it off. Um, so then uh, after I lost my friend, uh, and uh, you know to the to the uh, uh, cinch traps, <laughs> I got myself the gopher hog, which you set in the ground, and it's supposedly. Supposedly, it's like a fishing bob, you know, the fishing bob that has the red line or ye the yellow markers and it pops up. That shows that you caught something. I don't know what it is or what it was. I tried to pull this sucker out of the ground, but it will not give. So whatever that was trapped there was big. It was holding up the, uh, the hole, the little hole that's holding the trap you see what i'm saying so if your volume your body is bigger then they try to pull it you see what i'm saying uh, if you're underneath the ground we cannot i could not pull it up with with one hand not, not that i'm so weak but i just go eh, you know forget it leave it there and then for sure it starts to stink so i know i know i know that was a gopher 
uh, that I caught. Anyways, I believe this wacky gopher is a relative, but I'm just saying, look at that hole. Look at the size of his hole. Now, that is a huge monster. So, pray in Jesus' name that we'll whack that gopher before the gopher whacks me. Okay, bye.